This is part two of finishing making the dust cover. We've made our template. I just want to let you know that this concrete vessel is just under six inches and it's a little bit more than six well the wicks are in the way but it's um like 5.75 or whatever those lines are after that not very really good at that stuff but let's move on now i'm going to add a square So this square right here, we're going to add to our template that we made. And so here we are where we left off. I'm going to go add another shape. I'm going to add the first one square. And I'm going to make the shape to match what I already made over here. And that's three point one, 3.1072, um, and I'm gonna type that right there. And so it created the width, and now I'm gonna create the height, and the height that I had on that square was 2.4857, and it changed it. So I'm just gonna move it up. I'm going to move it a little bit outside the lines, and that way, when this goes to print, it's not going to print the lines right here. And so when I'm cutting with scissors, there's that line won't be there, but it still have a guide. And I'm gonna make the outline white. Okay, so that's where we're at now. That's how it's gonna print. So I have just a little guide. I know how to cut straight on this um, cutter, Cricut cutter. So I still got my little tab area. Now I'm going to add my logo. I'm going to go add an image, browse for my image, pick my image. Hopefully that's the right one that has transparent background. I don't know if I need that or not. I'm not a pro. <laughs> so it's going to add, hopefully, the right logo that I picked. I'm going to align and bring to front so it's not there. I'm going to delete it, but my square is still there. So I'm going to go back to image, add an image, browse for my image. I don't know where it went. Um, oh, let's grab this one. Okay. Please work. This is a video, come on. Okay, we're going to make it bigger, as big as you want. I'm just gonna center it. You can add whatever you want. I have um, candle dust cover, but my name's here in a separate tag that I made. Uh, the scent and information, 12 ounces. So I'm not going to put anything else for this video. I'm going to finish. I'm going to um, save my project, Oval project number two, just so I don't copy over what I did. Okay. I saved it, and now I'm ready to print it out on my paper, and we're going to do the same thing for cutting. I'm going to come over here. All you need to do is print, but I'm going to open up the file and print on my laptop. There's my guide, there's my final. Open the new file I just made and print on the brown craft is my choice. Okay, print, print. And it's gonna print three of them. You know what? Let me go back real quick. I don't want to waste any paper. I think I'm going to make sure it's centered.
Okay. Print. All kinds of warnings, whatever. Print, print. And my cell phone is low, so I am going to hopefully plug it in. Print. Gonna brown get my brown craft. Put that in there. I'll be right back. 